Ladies and gentlemen, here is a quote. Obama says he didn't set a red line on Syria. That's the weekly standard with that quote. And then here's the original national security uh, piece put out by the Washington Post. Obama issues Syria a red line warning on chemical weapons from the 21st day of August last year, over a year ago. Now, I know everybody knows that, but it just shows how they practice lying, knowing that you know they're lying, but just to try to break your will. Well, the difference is here, nobody's will's broken now. We know who you are. Remember Ronald Reagan criticizing the Soviet Union for its corruption, speaking out against them, talking about all the things they were involved in, how they were a corrupt elite, and how they collapsed? Now the world is pointing out that we have a bunch of corrupt scum here. That is what has happened, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody is seeing through what's going on. I have another article here where premiums are now set to raise 120 plus percent in the next year on Obamacare. It was 53 percent so far this year. Now it's going to be 120 plus percent by next year. And you're like, what's that to do with Syria? It, it, ladies and gentlemen, Obamacare is written to bankrupt the country. Now, there it is. Report healthcare premiums to increase up to 125% in Wisconsin due to Obamacare. And it's similar numbers across the country. That's being reported by television, uh, local news up there. That's what the government's telling them get ready for. Oh, that's going to help poor people. Oh, raise even poor people's um, payroll tax. When he promised, I won't raise your payroll tax, not your income tax. In fact, I'm going to cut it. I, I never said there was a red line. And now he has seven major scandals going. Benghazi, Fast and Furious, NSA, persecution of the press, going after whistleblowers. Uh, the list goes on and on. Seven big scandals. And... Now they have the nerve in a whole bunch of news articles and video clips I have today to have Democratic congresswomen and others saying only reason I'd vote to strike Syria would be loyalty to Obama. That's the District of Criminals non-voting delegate to Congress, Eleanor Holmes Norton said. And then Chris Matthews, that 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 40 plus years in Washington working for presidents, a scumbag race pimp. Just absolute pile of steaming, inhuman trash. Anti-American, anti-family, anti-gun. I mean, these are enemies. Th that isn't rhetoric. These are our enemies. These people are a criminal class. He comes out and says, we need to have this war to save Obama. They're so arrogant in their criminality. That's what criminals do. They always brag that... They're saying this will haul Obama's bacon for their power. They admit it's all a big lie to divert everybody so Obama can start a war that might lead to World War III. I think the Democrats are going to be forced to sacrifice men and women who really, really don't want to vote for this. And they're going to have to vote for it to save the president's hide. That's a very bad position to put your party. I And some will say, oh, no, he's being honest there. No, he's saying what's going on. He's all for it. And then you've got all the rest of these people saying, I'll do it for loyalty. Hey, why don't you take your kids outside then and blow their brains out? Chris Matthews uh, and uh, the, the District of Criminals Congresswoman. I mean, I'm not saying literally do that. But you know what? I mean, if Obama said, march your kids outside, put a gun in their mouth, blow their brains all over the wall, would you do it? If Obama said go jump off a cliff, would you do it? And let me tell you, all these Republicans are telling us go jump off a cliff. I can't look at John McCain anymore. I mean, he's obviously completely mentally ill. John Kerry, these are flaming nutcases. And remember, what do you expect, folks? It's Skull and Bones. ABC News got video of it that confirms what Charlotte Isserby leaked to Anthony Sutton, the congressional uh, expert, congressional hearings. You know, Shelly revealed, uh, revealed that a few years ago to us. And, and, and we went to her home and she showed us the Skull and Bones memorabilia. Her, her father, 
and grandfather were members of Skull and Bones, an elite family. And she leaked to Anthony Sutton what goes on in Skull and Bones that confirmed the break-in from over 100 years ago, what it confirmed. Do you know what goes on at Skull and Bones? Well, I have a family audience, so I can't say it. They have sexual rituals, some of the most ancient Egyptian rituals, where they believe they are possessed by entities, basically space aliens. When you're look, I, I don't believe this. L let's be clear. When you look at John Kerry, though, and his 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 tomb mate George W. Bush and the rest of them, these are people. These are people that had gay sex. Hundreds of times in coffins, begging for spiritual entities to possess them. And you know what? Put put John Kerry on screen. You know what? Put the video from last yesterday. That's the really crazy one. I mean, it, it, you know what? If that's a case for possession, folks, I believe it. I mean, it, Hollywood should want to hire him to play the next Silence of the Lambs because there's no actor that can look this whacked out crazy. I mean, take George W. Bush and all his weirdness. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, these are people that get in coffins hundreds of times and, and giant pits of feces and have sex with each other. And people go, oh, well, that's just fraternity fun. No, ladies and gentlemen, that's not what it is. And by the way, a lot of people that get tapped for it won't be part of all that. That's the higher level initiates. John Kerry, ladies and gentlemen, is a member of a satanic death cult. And no wonder he wants to start World War III. I mean, what do you call it psychologically? I mean, if you don't believe in these entities like they do, okay, it doesn't exist. doesn't matter. They believe entities possess them in pits of feces. I mean, we have a, 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 a Secretary of State who has asked entities to enter his body while having sex in large vats of feces with men peeing on him. I, I mean, I mean, I, they even made a movie, The Good Shepherd, about this. Robert De Niro produced it, and it was hailed as historically accurate with men peeing on each other. I mean, I'm sorry, we have family audiences, but that's what they're doing. And how much more will we put up with these people? It is, it is chapter 322 officially of the Illuminati, ladies and gentlemen. Founded by the Illuminati in 1832, on record. People make fun of me saying, oh, German death cults run the world. No, they're a big part of it, though. Doesn't even mean they're German. It means they've adopted a German death cults activity that's really Egyptian which was the dark black magic elements of the priesthood in Egypt. These people follow a 4,000-year-old Egyptian death cult, okay? That's who's running things, wallowing in feces. That's what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. A secretary of state that has had sex in giant vats of feces. And I dare the media to attack me on this because that's exactly who they are. Go ahead, make fun of me, because it's all on record. And it's all come out, and go ahead and try to make me look crazy talking about that. I don't care. You're the ones that are crazy following these people. The only video they have of Skull and Bones is in the courtyard screaming, death, devil equals death, oh, hell, oh, I love you, devil. They have people that dress up in skull masks with crowns on, and then you worship the devil and then the person playing the part of the devil who believes they've been possessed by the devil sits there and watches while man after man has sex with you. I mean, that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. You want the truth? Can you handle the truth? That's the big question here, ladies and gentlemen. These people are monsters. And that's what hit me last night was I have been holding back. I know they're monsters. Why does Kerry look so weird? Why does he act so weird? Why do they lie? Why can't they help not lying? Why was Kerry about to collapse over and over again watching the testimony? Go back and review it from yesterday's testimony of the Senate. He's in the House today. He would, he would have to, when they were talking, have to lean his head down and like put his hands on the table and just... Because, <sighs> I mean, folks, he imagine he's been possessed by this stuff so long. 
like Aleister Crowley was. Can you imagine what it's like being under that? Thank God I'm among the living. Thank God I love life. Thank God I've got red blood and gusto and honor and courage and love of life and innocence. Man, it feels good to be on the side of good. <laughs> I do not want to be a part of evil. These servants are evil are jokes. Let me tell you something. I said this to the crew earlier today, and they said, well, you got to say that on air, but it's true. Evil ain't cool and evil ain't fun. And, and, and the path of evil lives in the heart of all of those that serve evil. And what was my full quote you said was good? It was a quick quote. You said we ought to make a liner out of it. Evil isn't good for you, bitches. I think that's what I said. I mean, it's, it's just elementary to use a modern parlance. Excuse me, but I mean, that's what's going on here. This is not fun. You don't want to shine on to this. Beelzebub's here to destroy things. And again, even if you don't believe in it, our leaders are part of groups. It came out in mainstream news that Tony Blair, every morning, is possessed by the spirit of the light and falls down on the ground and flops around on the ground. That's mainstream British news. And his wife is an admitted witch who does rituals with him. And he spends most of his free time flying all around the world doing weird rituals. So did Francois Mitterrand. Look that up. The pyramid at the Louvre, the pink pyramid, uh, it, uh, the pink and gold pyramid, has 666 pieces of glass. And Mitterrand said the idea was beamed to him by Lucifer when he was on a sacred mountaintop. Well, let me tell you, what Lucifer's beaming to you isn't good, and I don't want to be run by Lucifer. Comprende? I don't want to work for El Diablo. Or the skinny one, the grim reaper, any of it. I choose God. I choose Jesus Christ. I choose life. I don't choose death. Those of you that worship at the dark altar of it, I know I'm preaching. It's, let me just go over the headline. 120 plus percent in the next year on Obamacare. It was 53 percent so far this year. Now it's going to be 120 plus percent by next year. And you're like, what's that have to do with Syria? It, it, ladies and gentlemen, Obamacare is written to bankrupt the country. And there it is, report, health care premium. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a quote Obama says he didn't set a red line on Syria. That's the weekly standard with that quote. And then here's the original national security uh, piece put out by the Washington Post. Obama issues Syria a red line warning on chemical weapons from the 21st day of August last year, over a year ago. Now, I know everybody knows that, but it just shows how they practice lying, knowing that you know they're lying, but just to try to break your will. Well, the difference is here, nobody's will's broken now. We know who you are. Remember Ronald Reagan criticizing the Soviet Union for its corruption, speaking out against them, talking about all the things they were involved in, how they were a corrupt elite, and how they collapsed? Now the world is pointing out that we have a bunch of corrupt scum here. That is what has happened, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody is seeing through what's going on. I have another article here where premiums are now set to raise, seems to increase up to 125% in Wisconsin due to Obamacare. And it's similar numbers across the country. That's being reported by television, uh, local news up there. That's what the government's telling them get ready for. Oh, that's going to help poor people. Oh, raise even poor people's... Uh, Payroll tax. When he promised, I won't raise your payroll tax, not your income.